hello students so welcome to the session autocad in today class we are going to discuss on the cyclad the topic is cyclad so you can see here draw is the question <coughs> here what do you mean by cyclad so, okay let me explain you what do, what do you mean by cyclad so before starting any diagram in autocad what we have to do the first one is units u n i t s u n enter otherwise the shortcut is units enter okay next to here you have to change the precision to 0 comma 0 millimeters okay okay now if you have missed my video uh, construction of ellipse just watch that one after that uh, you can see this one so that it will be very easy and next we are giving limits l i m i t s limits and after that we have to enter 0 comma 0 okay and we are giving the size of a to 594 comma 420 enter okay and then z enter a enter z enter a enter okay this is our rectangle now we have to specify the work area so rec enter now what is the first point zero comma zero enter okay yeah zero comma zero the rectangle has started now i want to give uh, other point 594 comma 420 comma 420 enter see this is our work area okay now i want to show you what what do you mean by a cyclad yeah let me take a circle see let, let me take a escape now there is a surface okay line enter this is a surface okay i will on the ortho mode so it should come exact straight line this is a, a line and this is a surface so i want to make it into the circle should rotate on this one okay yeah i will select a circle over here it is taking the center so instead of that one i will select some circle yeah okay yeah let me take i will end this one see this is a circle it is rolling on the surface or a straight line without slipping okay without slipping it should roll so let let me take some uh, division among this one okay let me take one point okay and uh, l enter and somewhere over here yeah it is getting wrong okay and l enter and with this midpoint i'll draw a straight line and escape and l enter so this is i have divided this circle into four equal parts now let me take this one i i am rolling this circle in the this direction that means in the clockwise direction okay clockwise direction that means see the first point is here the next point it is joining the surface is this one is it right this one which is highlighted okay this point it will touch and after that this point will touch and after that that's why we have to number from here one and the path will come this point okay this point will come this which is the bottom it will rotate like this the path will come like, like this at the end it will touch here that is a cycloidal path okay now let us discuss the problem which we have so i will control all delete okay now okay, one minute yeah okay now see so what is our problem just look at the problem which we are uh, taken one minute yeah yeah this is our problem draw a cycloid okay the path is cycloid and one revolution okay it, it will take one revolution only as we have discussed and having the 50 mm diameter what is the diameter of the circle so immediately if you, if you have given the circle cycloid he will give a 50 mm diameter okay and draw the tangent and normal okay let us uh, discuss about this one later now let me take the circle diameter 50 mm so what is the diameter 50 mm now i will take a circle okay c enter c enter now i will start somewhere here what is it? 50 50 enter okay this is our circle which i have to rotate on the surface so for this surface what is the line i have to take it is the circumference of the circle so what is the formula for the circumference of the circle 2 pi r okay if you calculate over here in the calculator 2 pi r okay let me take the calculator c a l okay calculator i will click calculator and i will enter what is the value 2 into pi what is the value 22.7 yes otherwise you can take directly uh, 22 divided by 7 uh, 2.13 actually okay one minute yeah 2 into 
22 okay into and 2 pi r what is the radius as the 50 mm is 25 mm okay equal to and divided by 7 22 by 7 okay so what is the value 157.14 so i will take 158 okay 157 or 158 your wish l enter and from this point i will take a line 158 enter okay escape see but the as you see the line is very less is it right 2 pi r 2 pi r so the value might be wrong so let us take uh, here the radius we have taken as 50 i think okay yeah that's why the line is very less instead of that one uh, here um, we have given the radius as 50 so i will calculate the value for the 50 uh, for that one so exactly uh, uh, double of that 158 158 it is approximately uh, it is approximately l enter 158 158 uh, it will get three uh, 316 okay l enter and i will specify the base point and 316 316 okay enter so this is our circumference of the circle now i will divide this line div enter i will select the object now i will divide into how many equal parts eight equal parts eight enter so already the circle has divided but the points are not showing so for that we have to take p type or ddpt you can enter ddpt or else uh, p type enter so you can see a pop-up point style i will change the point style now set absolute and i will change the ratio as three three okay recording a recording okay yeah i have divided this one into eight equal parts now i will join the line from here to here okay escape and uh, if you enter the space bar you can take this one up to here yeah and escape space bar i can join this all the lines over here you see it is in the ortho mode you can off the ortho mode and you can click here okay and escape space bar i will click here and up to here escape now from this point i will divide this line also div enter now i will set the object this one enter and how many enter parts eight as we have divided this circle into eight equal parts so we have to divide this uh, line also into eight equal parts eight enter okay yeah now i will name the number with the text command text enter single line text okay and here this is the point which touched the surface next so i will give some point over here and somewhere i will click and what is the, here i have to give the text height 10 enter okay and what is the rotation zero okay and uh, okay so let me give here one okay one okay and here and somewhere here two and here four and here five and here here six and here seven and this point might be eight or zero both points are same now if you take this one in the line this is also one dash okay if you are taking this one this is as a one dash okay one one dash and here two dash three dash and four dash one five dash and this one six dash this one seven dash and this one eight dash and this last point is also our one of the point okay eight dash okay now I, I will take the offset distance o enter okay see after that one you have to press somewhere and escape now after this one you take o enter offset and i have selected and you have to set through okay if you are selecting through you can Take the offset distance at any point see from i will select this one and from here i will select and from here i will select again i will select here again i will click here and i, I will select here again i will again i will select here okay escape now the lines has to touch this point also so for that ex double enter okay yeah yeah one minute 
ओके ये एक डबल एंटर सो आई विल एक्सटेंड अप टू हियर एस्केप नाउ आई विल ड्रॉ ए लाइन ओवर हियर एट द एंड पॉइंट आल्सो फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इफ यू वांट यू कैन ड्रॉ ओके दिस इज आवर साइक्लोडल एरिया नाउ आई विल आई हैव टू एक्सटेंड दिस लाइंस फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर सो व्हाट आई विल डू आई विल एंटर एल एंटर ओके आई विल क्लिक समवेयर हियर ऑन द फर्स्ट पॉइंट एंड आई विल आई विल ऑन द ऑर्थो मोड सो दैट इट विल कम एग्जैक्टली ऑन द दिस पॉइंट ओके दिस इज आवर सी वन सिमिलरली आई कैन टेक द ऑफसेट ओ एंटर now i will select this through through object okay through and i will select this object and every point every point i will click i will click here i will click on this one i will click this one and i will click here click this one and here like that so whatever the points we got these are all your c1 c2 like that now here i will enter c instead of taking the command again i will take the point c c enter okay copy copy and i will uh, copy the command like this okay copy text okay and enter and specify the base point i will specify here and this is our first point see how i will or of the ortho mode and this is our c1 okay this is our c2 okay this is our c2 c3 c4 c5 like that so on i will change later again C8. This is our C8. Okay. Escape. Now I will double click on that one. Double click and C1. C1. Okay. And here I will double click C2. C2. Okay. And I will double click here C3. And I will double click here C4. C4. Okay. And here I will double click on this C5. Double click C5. Here C6. Double click C6. Okay. Let's skip. Double click C6. Here double click C7. Here double click C8. Yeah. Okay. Up to now we have completed. Now I will uh, copy the com circle. I will select this one. Enter. and the base point i will copy somewhere here okay so escape what is our first point i will change the color so that it will be easily identified what is the first line see this is our first line which is touching the circle this is one okay now po enter this is our point okay right next again i will copy copy the circle okay i will copy and i will select this one enter center point okay and to the center to c2 okay escape now i will delete this one dummy which is duplicate i will delete which i don't want okay now see the circle which is touching the second one okay po enter this is our second point okay and i will select this circle again copy okay i will select this point and i will select here okay escape now i will delete this one instead of that one you can use move command also that is your wish now third line here P O enter. Okay, here is our point. Okay, and after that, your C four. I will select this one. I will try to move this one. Okay, I have moved up to here. Now here C, but due to some error, the line is deleting here. The line has gone here. Okay, Control Z. Okay, right. I will select copy, copy command and enter. Escape. C O enter, yeah, okay. C O enter, and I will set this circle, okay. C O enter, and what is the copy? I will set this one, and what is the enter? And this point, I will move up to center four. Escape. Now, okay, this has extended. Yeah. Now I will delete this one, and on the fourth fourth point, oh. right okay now i will copy this one escape see third one over i want to copy this one c o enter copy okay enter switch by the boss i will copy here okay escape why it is taking like that okay right i will delete this one i will draw a offset line l enter and from this point as it is going escape by layer from this point 
will enter and ortho mode on the ortho mode so that it will come exact okay up to here escape now i will delete this line okay now what is our fourth point here po enter and you have to change the color here this is your point exact okay now like that so on and by this point you can mirror also if you got this points you can mirror see let me take the points like this one okay point point and point point okay point now what i will do mi enter mi enter so the points are selected Mi mirror specify first first point so i will uh, i will click here okay click here mirror first point specify the second point i will specify here okay do you want to erase the source or no enter see but it has taken here okay so before that one you have to select a line control z control z okay so if you don't get like that yeah you can repeat the option like like this also delete now i will select some other uh, line circle c enter now with the what uh, copy co enter i will copy this circle enter with the base point okay i will move somewhere here okay yeah escape po enter this is the point okay now i will select the cop circle copy and with the base point i will move here okay escape now i'll set the circle circle and delete now seven point you can see here po enter this is our point seven okay yeah c six actually okay and co enter again co enter and i will select the object and uh, enter and base point okay and move to c eight c seven yeah c seven okay escape now i'll delete this circle which i don't want delete now po enter which is a seven this one okay and automatically c8 you can enter this point only see i will set a circle and c8 it will come automatically here only okay this is our other point okay yeah this is our last point escape now i will draw a side light i will delete this circle i don't want now i will select some green color okay now spl spl enter from this point here okay i will join see exact if i move on the point it should be in the round uh, green color you can observe clearly okay if it is in the round when i am moving on the point then only you have to click okay and after that and once you have entered the last point you have to press enter without if you don't press the enter the point will disappear okay now i want to increase the line of this one um, cycloid so p edit p e d i t okay p edit enter now select the polyline i have selected this polyline yeah I, do you want to turn it into one yes why why enter p edit specify the precision 10 enter so it will ask width you have to set width and i will give some point 5 okay point 5 instead of that one 0 0.5 if you give one also it will be more point 5 is enough more than enough see it is highlighted okay yeah now the cycloidal curve is good now if the question is given yeah in the continuation let me take here the normal curve uh, draw a tangent and normal at the curve at a point 35 mm and directing line or a baseline he is telling so i will draw a line uh, tangent uh, okay if you want to draw a tangent 35 mm above the baseline okay so i will select a circle see read the question properly above the directing line okay directing line or baseline so from this point i will from the directing line see above 35 mm this is from here you have you have to take a circle c enter i will enter c enter so yeah i will above 35 mm means from here i will select a circle over here anywhere any point otherwise at the center point 35 mm above so from here i, I will select a point okay what is the line 35 35 enter okay from the center point we have to select 
C enter and from the center line select somewhere and what is the radius 35 35 mm above the circle okay 35 means as we have taken this one double we have to take 70 that's the reason it is not coming actually here the radius is 50 mm diameter he have said but we have taken the 50 mm radius that's why we can take 35 instead of that one 70 we will take okay yeah r enter r enter sorry circle enter c enter and what is a uh, i will click somewhere on this okay from here and what is a uh, 70 i have to enter 70 70 enter so these are the two points you can enter so let me click somewhere on the point enter po enter and i will uh, change the color point uh, and i will click here okay this is our point for the tangent and normal i will delete this circle delete now what i have to do i have to draw i have to join this one okay i have to join this one to the circle point where we, where i have taken so i will press ctrl z yeah i will make a point okay l enter okay i will enter l enter and from this point we have to join to the center line center point see this is our center point okay l enter l enter and from this center point which we have taken the circle circle center and i will join with the bottom okay and from this i have to join here okay yeah did you understood see from this i have joined from where center point delete see from this i have started a line from the center of the circle with this point from where the point has taken and from here i have drawn to the directrix line and i will set the line and from this point i will join ortho mode off ortho mode f8 or else okay this is our cf i will select here on the point this is our normal okay escape now i will select this circle and i will delete and i will select the line okay i will copy this one only co enter co enter i will copy this one uh, enter midpoint okay somewhere and i will rotate escape ro enter and i will rotate select object enter with the midpoint okay with the midpoint what is angle 90 90 enter so i will move this command m enter okay i will select this one enter with the midpoint okay i will move to this one okay the tangent is like that but it should come on exactly on outside the cyclic okay this is about the uh, tangent and normal of a cyclic hope you understood uh, thank you all